He said, what? Just recently, a video regarding Anderson Silva came out where he said a few things regarding his pre-fight training session. Well, the internet jumped at the possibility of Paul fixing the fight again, as what was said in the clip came out to be controversial. This video will take you through the controversy. On top of that, Tyron Woodley assessing the fight? Let's dive in. First things first, what was so controversial in the video? When discussing his training for a fight with Jake Paul, Anderson Silva said something shocking. The former UFC middleweight champion said in an interview with MMA weekly that during practice for the fight, he got knocked out twice by sparring partners. Silva said that he was training hard and not just with anyone. He was training with five very skilled fighters. Well, his boxing coach wanted the spider to be ready to go to war, but turns out, the Brazilian got knocked out twice in a row by the same sparring buddy. Luis Carlos Doria confirmed that the former champion's final sparring session took place recently, but categorically dismissed Silva's claim that he was knocked out. He stated the knocks didn't happen and that they were following a strict routine to get Silva the W as he's 100% ready for the fight. Following up, let's talk about some deets. Okay, so let us enlighten you with a few rules and regulations for how the statement might be treated. In Arizona, it's a must for the fighters to provide certain documentation to the commission if they wish to get licensed. These documents include an electrocardiogram, commonly known as an ECG, to show cardiovascular health, a clearance letter, and the results of a stress test completed by a physician. Well, generally, fighters are required to fill out a physical checkup form, which includes questions regarding their previous knockout, the longest period of unconsciousness, and whether the fighters have ever been knocked out in another sport or in any other way. MMA Fighting received a brief statement by email from the Arizona Department of Gaming, the department's in charge of Arizona's Boxing Commission. What happened was that Silva's management did not promptly respond to the request for comment to the Department of Gaming regarding his statement that he was allegedly knocked out. The email that MMA Fighting received read that the department was looking into the matter but had no comments at that time from Silva's team. Coming up, what about Silva? Since switching to boxing, Silva has performed well, winning his last three fights in a row. He defeated UFC Hall of Famer Tito Ortiz in his previous fight at 1 minute and 21 seconds of round 1. Silva's previous UFC encounter was headlined as a TKO loss. He fought Uriah Hall, who will compete against Le'Veon Bell on the Jake vs. Silva undercard. To be honest, the statement by Silva is not the first time he has mentioned knockouts before a match. Throwback to the time when, before facing Nick Diaz at UFC 183, Silva claimed he had been knocked out by a training partner. The guy who knocked Silva out turned out to be Khalil Roundtree, his UFC pal. But hey, that's what everyone loves about the spider, right? No, not him getting knocked out, but him being honest. Later on, Roundtree acknowledged the event, adding that things like those happen during training. Hey, isn't that exactly what we train for, to get hit and still keep fighting? Roundtree also stated that they work hard to win, adding that many of the stars we know actually hide such sort of stuff. But like we said already, the guy is honest. Doesn't matter what goes in training right? As long as he didn't get knocked out in the actual fight, who cares? According to Silva's manager, Ed Soras, Roundtree's remarks had been wrongly interpreted and Silva had only been knocked down but not out. For our next assignment, let's see what Woodley has assessed. Tyron Woodley, a former UFC welterweight champion, has expressed his opinion on the impending boxing showdown between Jake Paul, whom Woodley lost to twice, and Anderson Silva, a legendary MMA fighter. After failing to fight against Tommy Fury or Haseem Rahman Jr. over the summers, Paul's ambitions of becoming becoming a professional boxer for the first time were dashed. Now, he's going to square off against another former mixed martial arts champion. The problem child fought Ben Askren, a former welterweight champion of the One Championship in Bellator, in his third professional fight. After knocking out Funky in the first round, Paul defeated former 170-pound UFC King Woodley not once but twice, soundly putting the chosen one to sleep in their December rematch. The ex-YouTuber is scheduled to don the gloves in a few days against the MMA GOAT, who has gained a lot of respect in the ring. Since the fight's formal announcement, many have said that Paul will have a tough challenge there. Even Dana White, the president of the UFC, was among those who said it was about time that Paul actually fights. Woodley, who, as expected, disagrees with White's view, considers Paul's coming performance as a worthy challenge. Not to mention, more from Woodley's interview, what actually happened. Paul is facing one of the best boxers in MMA history, according to Woodley. Woodley was questioned about Paul's sixth professional fight, which will take place against a fighter almost 20 years older than him by MMA. MMA fighting Damon Martin last month. After denying the claim that Silva is the first real fighter Paul has faced in the ring, Woodley praised the Brazilian's boxing skills, ranking him among the finest in MMA history. Woodley thinks that the fight is gonna be amazing. He expressed his disbelief about people still believing things like the Silva fight being Jake's first professional one. He said, that's
it right there is funny. And hey, you can't take one thing away from Silva, and that's him being a pure fighter. The vast majority of viewers will want to see Jake get beaten up. It's just like the bully that everyone else wants to see get humiliated. But you gotta admit, Jake's athletic and trains like crazy. He truly is a youngster with little to no responsibilities, especially if you talk about finances. He turns everything into a task for his bucket list. Woodley added, Jake has always been a lover of combat sports, so even if he loses, it won't be a huge problem. Nevertheless, he secretly wants Paul to win badly. What's more, praises from Woodley. Tyron continued by praising the spider for his post-UFC comeback, which included an unexpected win against former WBC middleweight champion Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. The 40-year-old expects an intense fight on October 29th, believing Silva has rediscovered drive once more because of the same freedom he claims to have experienced following his own UFC exit. You now have Anderson Silva, who's optimistic. No matter what you say, Jake Paul can handle the media and still compete, unlike other boxers. He has already shown his ability to fight in that manner. I think it's a good fight. I'll probably be there, Tyron added. Additionally, he doesn't seem to have finished taking part in the crossover boxing trend. Despite suffering two defeats at the hands of Paul, the chosen one has kept the door open for more contests, lately sparring with UK artist and YouTuber KSI. Let's talk about this important statement again. We have an update regarding Silva's statement. The footage was filmed during the event's press conference on September 13th, according to MMA Weekly, the video's author. Silva afterward issued a statement through the channel Showtime in which he claimed that he misspoke and that he had never been knocked out during a match. It was apparently because he struggled with the English language. Not to forget, Jake shares his future sights. Jake Paul has glimpsed into the future and is aware of the newsworthy events that will occur the day following his fight with Anderson Silva on October 29th. Paul has had a great transition to boxing. In his first six fights, he is unbeaten and has knocked out every opponent he has faced. What Jake wants is a respectful knockout. A reporter asked Paul what the headlines would be the day after his bout with Silva. He responded in a manner that was both icy and respectful of the legendary combat athlete. Jake Paul reportedly said that he will put the spider within four rounds. He added that he was going to knock Silva out fiercely, but with respect. Jake Paul is making a big claim, but he has successfully done it in nearly every previous fight he has taken part in in the past. Anderson Silva has already shown that he is still dangerous at 47, and despite switching to boxing late in his career, the YouTube fighter will probably have to go through to get those headlines. Lastly, Jake straight up selling it. Jake Paul had been working hard with the media to promote this fight when it was still a few weeks away, even appearing with Anderson Silva at a news conference that Kale Sonnen, Silva's former sworn enemy, hosted. Now with the fight right at the corner, things are almost on the brink of record high sales. That's a wrap for this video. Who do you think is going to win between Paul and Silva? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed. And with that, see you at the next one. Peace.